They are soap opera royalty from their first appearance on Albert Square to last year's million pound scratch card to their surprise news just last week. Cat Slater and Alfie Moon have been a must watch roller coaster in London's East End. I do. What do you mean you're at home? I'm gonna have to call you back. Hey, where you are, darling? Don't move! Get her! Get her coming! Well, off screen they're as inseparable as on and they're about to start together in a new play in Dublin's Board Gosh Energy Theatre. Would you welcome, please, Shane Ritchie and Jesse Wallace, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the Late Late Show. Welcome to Dublin. Welcome to Ireland. Ah, oh, marvellous. Now we're all right. Ah, oh, marvellous. Now come on. <laughs> That's not bad. All oh, right. See, really, I, I'm not really a Cockney. I'm actually from Dublin. Actually. Mm, so you got the whole Dublin thing going yeah, on. And I just put it on for EastEnders, you know. So. <laughs> No, uh, but <laughs> I just uh, I scared myself then hearing that. Yeah, no, uh, there's a job waiting for you in a thing called Fair City. We'll talk about that another yeah, day. Uh, that's for another day. Uh, anyway, congratulations. You're, you're coming over to star in a, in a play together. I was just thinking, you're doing a play here in Dublin. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, EastEnders down through the years, and, and this, we'll talk about Ireland later. Do, are you not slightly sick at the sight of each other? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair yeah. enough. That's very honest answer. Uh, uh, no, it was, it was something that got uh, put to us last year, because we've got the same manager, you see. Yeah. And we was having a break from EastEnders, and they approached us about this uh, piece by Peter James, who's a wonderful thriller writer yeah. right across the world, big multi-millionaire author. And uh, he, he gave us this play, and it was about a married couple. And I remember speaking to Jesse, I said, Jesse, we've got this script, and we were kind of like another married couple. And until we both sat down and we read it, we went, wow. Yeah. This is so different to Cat and Alfie. I mean, this is two people called Victor and Joan Smiley, who are, after 20 years are in a loveless, childless marriage, and they end up loathing and detesting each other. And one of us decides to kill the other with the perfect murder. And what's really interesting there, Ryan, it, you'll get a word in a minute, please. <laughs> and uh, and, what, and, and there on. is such thing as the perfect murder. Yeah. And we, all, we recreate it on stage. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you come and see it. Yeah, yeah, uh, Jesse, you want to say something? It's, no. It's anyway, as I was <laughs> saying, right, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a dark comedy. It's like, um, it, it's, it's really scary. Yeah. And the script is fantastic. The story is brilliant. And apparently it's based on, a, on true events. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, one minute you know you, you're, you're petrified, and you know it's, it's just so clever. And the next, the next minute you're laughing your head off. Yeah, it's fantastic. So it's a bit of everything going on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a musical. Yeah, uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I've killed adults. the wife. <laughs> 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 There's something in that, you know. There is a good thing. You've got to think yeah. about it. Hold that thought for a second. <laughs> Make your own fortune. Yeah. But when you, when you come here, uh, a lot of people will see EastEnders and, and think of you as, as, as the couple from EastEnders. Yeah. And, and, and down through the years, the, the storylines that you've had to confront and, and deal with have been kind of bonkers. But brilliant. Completely bonkers. And that's what makes Cat and Alfie so interesting yeah. because they'd be boring. They wouldn't be interesting if they yeah. just sat in front of a telly all day, you know, reading the paper. No. Or, do you know what I mean? So the more bonkers it is and the more um, the, wait, wait. the layered it is and, wait, wait. and the more, you know, we, let me get a word in. Okay, right. Um, so <laughs> it's it just in the script. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, who would ever move into Albert Square? Yeah, yeah. Really? Do you know what I mean? There's, there's, someone gets murdered every Christmas, someone dies, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. there's a legitimate baby born. Well, is that the point of it, that we watch it too, so because it's, at least we're not them? You know, yeah, <laughs> there is like Jeremy Kai, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what was your favourite? What is the storyline that just, that, I was going to say blew you away, but after that last clip, I don't think that's probably appropriate, but no. what's the storyline that, that just knocked your socks off? Um, I think every storyline that we've had, that we've, we've got our teeth into, has, has been a, a, a tackle yeah, and yeah. You know, a great thing to do. But for me personally, it's when Kat and Alfie were getting together, which took a year. Yeah. And it was like, you know, she, she fell in love with him and he fell in love with her. But it took a year for that to actually happen. Yeah. That for me was the, the build best. build up to that. Yeah. It was a slow burner and that was like, 
13, 14 years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about you, Shane? Do you yeah. like the more dramatic or the, the I enjoyed more... that. I mean, there was one storyline we played, uh, which kind of, uh, at times, it, it felt like it split the audience, and that was when we played the whole, uh, the cot death. Yeah. Um, we, we did a lot of research about that, and, and ultimately that turned into, like, a bit of a farce, I suppose, for want of a better word. It became like a baby swap story. Yeah. But to play the whole cot death, we spent time, didn't we, with, um, sadly, uh, couples that had lost uh, children. And so we did our research and, you know, and, and playing that was tough because we both got children. And we well, put our heart and soul into that. It's important to, to, to go and meet families like that because you've got a responsibility, don't you? You're and to be, play the you, truth. Right. And you've got yeah. to, you're going to be beamed into all these homes, many of whom have been through the scenarios you're depicting. So you've yeah. got to be mindful of that, I suppose. Yeah. Which is and then you fun. go to some, to some to the most bizarre and ridiculous ones. You know, where there was a storyline many years ago when Kat was getting married and Alfie stopped the wedding yeah. with Ian Bill turning up in an ice cream van. Uh, <laughs> and the one we're playing at the moment. Yes. Lovely. The one where Alfie, well, obviously Kat's found out she's got a... Uh, a son. That's can, can we can we play that scene? Because <laughs> one, do you want do you want to tee it up for us? It's June Whitfield, of course, we know for for oh, years as Terry June. and June. Yeah. yeah, she's playing a nun. Yeah, and she has some news for you. Yeah. So we'll look at the scene and then we might ask you about it. Okay. We won't ask Shane for a minute. We'll ask no. you. About he was it. screaming the place down, and then passing out, and then we realised, what well, you were having. Twins. So it was the first, followed shortly by a little boy. He was fine, had a very healthy cry on him. You're wrong. I think you've got me confused with some other sinner. <laughs> I'd know. I'd know if I had another child. <laughs> So you had a child, but you didn't realise it. Is that what happened? Just to clarify it, because it's important. Yeah. Happens all the time. So. I, I, just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know well, what to well, say. when you were at the... Well, she was so out of it. She was so out of it. Cat. And it, cat, yeah. yeah. And uh, obviously it was before she had a scan. And she didn't yeah. know that she had twins. And yeah. She just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you're having difficulty with the credibility of this story, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. OK. But anyway, the point of all of this is all roads lead to... Ireland. Ireland! Yeah! Yes! So tell, explain, explain to everyone, of course you are. So even though it's, it's, you know, it, it seems a little bit ridiculous that she didn't know she had a son, but she was, you know, I'm trying to justify it, she was completely out of it, that she didn't know she had another child. He gets adopted and he moves to Ireland and then Kat and Alfie go to Ireland to look for the sun! Yay! <laughs> so, just to clarify, you are making a spin-off programme from EastEnders about your search for the Irish child yeah. who you were so out of it having you didn't know existed. Mm. Magnificent. <laughs> yeah, we start... It could be you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit older. Yeah. <laughs> You're too young for that. Yeah, we start filming in uh, April for four months and, uh, and the story that's playing out on EastEnders at the moment, we're on screen for another couple of weeks, okay. but we finished telling the story about why we leave Walford, uh, go and pack up in Spain and then make our way to a new universe, which is uh, it's going to be an Irish cast, yeah. Irish... I love saying new that. Universe. There's a whole new universe for Cat and Alfie. And I've managed to read the first script, and I can't tell you where it's set, but it's all Irish cast, Oh, no, but Irish you can. Crew. No, they, I can't. They don't get the internet in England. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can and, tell us. But it's where we're going is absolutely beautiful. And it's a whole uh, world where Cat and Alfie come into the first episode, and we turn up in this village where there's a real dark secret. And the whole... It never happen in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> And there's an audience, you want the audience to go, no, I can't have, you shouldn't be there. You shouldn't be there. Oh, great. Yeah. So you're going to, when are you starting filming all that? April. 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 For how long? Four months. Four, Four months. months. So you're going to yeah. be part of these... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'll performance. be coming in and sitting here watching the show with you. Like, <laughs> I'm just looking for somebody to stay at the moment, if anyone's Any, any takers? Place. Yeah, there's a fair few. <laughs> there's a fair few takers, it has to be said. But this is a homecoming for you. Your, your Dublin accent, which you, you were doing backstage and on, on the show tonight, is uncanny. Mm. Uh, but it's only because you're, you're a dub, really, aren't you? Yeah, you're yeah. You're conceived here. I was conceived in a car park in Dublin, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, you, you have to clarify that and explain I, to us what I wrote, my, my autobiography was out 10, 12 years ago, and I remember 
uh, talking to my dad, bless him, he's not with us now. Uh, and I remember talking to him about it, and my parents were very young when they had me, and they were in, uh, they were both from, my dad was from Coolock, my mum's from Whitehall, and they came over to London, obviously in 64, the year yeah. I was born, and I remember talking to him about it, and my dad for a long time wouldn't tell me, he wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't talk about it, and eventually when I come to writing the book, he made some passing joke about being conceived in a car park in Dublin. <laughs> and and it, there was an element of truth about it. And it turned out it, it was true. And they fell in love. And they, you know, like a lot of uh, yeah. Irish families in the 60s moved to London. Have you been to the car park since? I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's now. Asta. It's Asta. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like uh, in, in my spoken, you know, my, where they grew up in uh, North London, my, yeah. there was a big Irish community. My dad used to run Irish clubs. So I grew up around the whole Irish culture in yeah. the 60s and 70s. Not necessarily the easiest uh, time in the 70s to be Irish in, in no it, okay. it wasn't but at the same at the same time uh, I didn't you, you didn't know any different yeah you know it's not until you look back now and you kind of realize wow it was fairly tough and you know uh, you know what was happening in the 70s and you know I had family in Kilburn yeah. that came over and there was a lot of atrocities around there and certainly in Halston and and it was a very much an Irish and black community yes that worked closely together and that was my upbringing and I'd come over to Dublin, many times someone died. Come on now, going to a funeral. Come on now, Jay, off we go. And <laughs> Shane. And it's only when I come when I come to Dublin, my name has two syllables. Two syllables, yeah. It's Shane, Shane. <laughs> Where are you? Where's Alfie Moon? Come on now. Um, <laughs> That's too uh, good. Yeah, That's right. really good. Um, <laughs> Even Moon gets two syllables. Alfie Moon. 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 Cat Neil, I love Cat. Jeez, he's gorgeous Neil. <laughs> um, so and, and and I don't get to spend as much time. You know, yeah. I know all my cousins at home are watching right now, and I don't get to see them as much as I should. What about you, Jesse? Are you are you on the Irish bus as well? Or are you? My granddad's from Cork. Cork. Yeah, Cork. 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 Yeah. I've never been to Cork, so I'd love to go. And I've got a lot of family in Dublin. Yeah. The Wallace family. And we used to go there every Christmas when I was a kid, and I just, I didn't, well, I didn't like it. I didn't want to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Wallace. Thanks, Jesse. No, you're fine, you're fine. You're going now. But now, I love it. I love it. I love Dublin. I love Ireland. Yeah, well, you're going to have to love it because you're here for four oh, months. Yeah. So, you're going to learn to love it now and expunge all those memories from your, <laughs> your wicked past. Uh, but uh, off screen, you're, obviously, you're, 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 you're friends. You can see that. But, yeah. Um, when you're filming together, do you do you kind of find it difficult to, in the sense that do you kind of act the maggot or just get bored and start laughing, or do you just mm -hmm. keep it very professional and straight? What we like, darling. Um. Hey, come on. I can't tell stand the truth. him. Come on, yeah. tell the truth, sugar tits. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> sugar tits. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I something. forgot where I was. Then <laughs> I read somewhere that you said at one stage, which I can imagine, because obviously I'm not an actor, but. That, that, that kissing Shane for a scene is a bit like kissing your brother, which it is, is just weird. It is, if I had a brother, yeah. Did, yeah, did you not know that? No, well, did, I oh, you it? did say I that. I did say you that. You did say it, didn't you? Yeah, it just, it just feels weird, because it, Shane and I are just really close friends, and it just... It just yeah, when I snog it, it's like kissing me nan. I'm sticking his fingers <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kissing me nan. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now that we're all friends, um, oftentimes when you know, a guest comes to, the, to, to a show or it comes to a house for after a few drinks, we might have a sing song. Yeah. And I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, if you know, Sh Shane can sing. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we'd love you to really? sing. Really? Okay, yeah, do you yeah. want Would you be up? I have a microphone. Yeah. Do you want him to sing? Do you mind? <laughs> are the band good? Are the band there? The band are there. You can Boys. do one. Have some fun. How are you, fellas? How are you? Good to see Duran Duran back together. <laughs> now. <laughs> Listen, lads, a few, <laughs> a few years ago, I had a hit for Children Need, BBC with I'm Your Man. Do you know it? OK, Thank shall you. I count you in? Yeah, right, on. don't forget, if you know the words, shut up, because I'm singing. OK, right, <laughs> I'll count you in. Ready? One, two, three, go! Come on, get those hands now. Come on. Get on, everybody. Yes, we're going to go.
everybody. Good work. There Excellent. you go, Thank mate. You so lovely. Much. Right, we're going yeah. clubbing it tonight. We'll definitely have to. We'll see you afterwards. <laughs> All right, listen yeah. to me. Oh, oh look at <laughs> that was a save. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, Listen, that was great fun. Did you enjoy that, ladies and gentlemen? That brings back some memories. Shane Ritchie and Jesse me. Wallace, thank you both very much indeed. And good luck. We'll see you back, Aaron. All right. Now enjoy that.